It's that time of year again when moths begin their migration from the high plains into the mountains. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you remember when those swarms came from last year, but will be a bad again this year. Tonight, Fox 31's Rachel Sowers talking to experts and joins us here in studio. Rachel. Yeah, well, none of us will soon forget the thousands of moths that seemingly descended upon us last summer, but now entomologists say we're in for a much better start to the moth season. Warming weather means the birds, the butterflies, and yes, the moths are out. They calm in early spring, so we expect them around April or May. Thankfully, they are not going to be the swarms we saw last year. At this point, um, expecting an average season. Moths prefer cooler weather, which is why they seemed worse last summer. Moths do not like hot weather. If we have a hot summer, you know, right away, uh, those moths are probably going to continue their journey. This is also why their main goal is to get to the mountains where it's cooler and food is abundant. They look for flowers because they are pollinators. They have this very important relationship where they come they take food from the flowers and at the same time they pollinate them, making these fruits and helping plants thrive. Entomologists say because they are one of the few bugs that pollinate the flowers that only open up at night, you should actually avoid killing them if you can. The best that you can do for them is try to take them in a small container, net them in and just release them in the night so they can make their way through the Colorado and be happy in the ecosystem. But if you would rather not catch them, the experts have some tips for keeping them out of your home in the first place. They guide themselves with the moon. So if you have a house with a lot of light on during the night, you're definitely going to attract them. So we recommend putting your lights down or trying to turn them off like early in the night. This would also be a good time to check your screens and make sure they're sealed so nothing can get in. Those little things will make an impact and it'll reduce the, the entrances that they have to get into your home. Now, realistically, catching these guys is not always ideal, especially if you have so many. So we have a link to more ways you can moth proof your home on our website, kdbr.com.